A couple trapped on the Diamond Princess cruise ship for weeks now telling their side of the story. They are back home and now they have published a book about their experience. Justin Schrecker shares their story. In the epilogue of my book, my first words are nobody knew. Confined to their cabin, Gay and Phil Quarter knew they had to get off the Diamond Princess. I think the scariest thing for us was not just getting sick, but not being able to have each other to help through it. She remembers the captain announcing the first positive test just before they were about to disembark. Eventually over 700 people got it, 14 died. Quarter sounded the alarm about the unsafe conditions in a series of interviews with Eight on Your Side and national news outlets. I want to thank you, Justin, in particular for following us through the whole thing because we really felt you had our backs. 12 days into a two week quarantine, the U.S. government sent cargo planes to evacuate the Americans. The quarters traveled from Tokyo to Lackland Air Force Base in Texas. They kept testing negative for the virus while having to quarantine again. It was unpleasant. It was difficult. And we felt by putting up with the quarantine, we were keeping America safe. While on the base, Quarter says the inspiration for her new book came during a phone conversation with her son. You have the best deal any writer ever had. He said, you're locked up for two weeks with nothing to do and you have a great story to tell. Nearly 50 days after departing for what they hoped would be a dream vacation, the Quarters finally returned home in early March. We get here on the beautiful Crystal River. We look out and our hearts were full and we said, why do we ever go anywhere else? Well, you can read more about their journey in her book, Quarantine, How I Survived the Diamond Princess Coronavirus Crisis. That book is out now and that is how we're going to wrap things up.